Welcome to Tinks Invest, where we talk about investing, finance, and professional women. As a recording time of 4.23 p.m. on the Eastern Time, Ethereum contracted $3,245, up about 5.33% so far. On the over-crypto market, see clearly we're rebounding very nicely. On the post-market after perspective, Dow Jones up about 0.51%. NASDAQ is uh, up nicely as well, 1.36%. S&P is also up about close to 1% as well. And obviously, the reversal that we're seeing right now is uh, supported by three macro affectations that happened in a per shadow perspective yesterday from both Goldman Sachs and also from, obviously, Jamie Dimon on their you know economic outlook going forward that we are within one of the biggest wealth transfer uh, shifting out of this, uh, you know, the way that Jamie Dimon kind of characterizes the Great Depression phase that we're seeing right now. And as we reverse and see this recovery, this is going to be the biggest bull run going forward. And also today, with respect to Jerome Powell, uh, in his speech, right, on this Tuesday morning at 10 a.m., and I, th I think it will until like 1 to 2 p.m. on the Eastern Time. And on a high-level perspective, uh, I think the speech was relatively positive, right? Jerome has indicated and confirmed that the U.S. economy is healthy enough uh, for us to further tightening up the monetary policy. So what that means is basically quantitative tapering, right? Pulling back the quantitative easing, which is basically another term for, you know, printing money uh, to sustain the economy on the corporate perspective, but also the stimulus checks have been getting so far. So we will no longer be buying more bonds or printing more money, you know, shaving the $120 billion that we were doing on a monthly basis to like $30 billion on a monthly basis, just gliding away. And uh, with respect to the interest hikes, right, um, because of the fact that we need to further triangulate uh, on the tapering front, there will be three specific interest hikes this year, right? But he didn't really say specifically on to you know what time frame but obviously we have encounter a recent one uh obviously not in the most um uh, he didn't really give us a heads up on but it's something that i guess uh back in the december meeting he did lay that out for us uh and also in the previous fomc meeting as well but uh i guess we got the first one uh, and also jamie diamond has some uh, contradicting type of uh perspective he said that there should be four interest heights so we'll see how that goes, but ultimately we, you know, we're gliding in the right direction. So collectively, you know, with our two and a half months of just painful sell-off, you know, for Ethereum specifically from the four thousand eight hundred seventy-one, or if you collectively think about the sell-off that we've been experiencing so far in this pandemic for the last two and a half years so far, um, that you know we're building the scar tissues, right? We're building that toughness. Um, and seems like despite beside the positive news, we being countered with a couple of negative news as well. Um, it seems like obviously from United Airlines, there seems to be a lot of labor shortage uh, from the airline crews um, due to, you know, they have uh, uh, COVID that are diagnosed. I don't know if that's the truth, um, that collectively 4,000 people call out, of, you know, d due to sickness. I mean, it's possible, right, because of how labor-intensive and rigorous their job is collectively. And also, another part of the um, equation that I'm also seeing in the news front is that U.S. sets a fresh record of COVID hospitaliza hospitalization and cases with 1.5 million new infection um, that's identified. So, seems like the case is not, you know, um, progressing and... But, you know, despite, you know, the cases are not progressing, it's, um, it's something that, you know, it's like more of a cry wolf type of affectation. Now. It's like, I'm not saying they're lying to our face or this is some sort of a conspiracy, right? Um, but I do understand why people, some people think that way. Um, but it's no longer, um, you know, a market correction factor or, or at least not as severe as it was back in like two years ago when it, when it was March. And it broke out for the first time, which tanked the market completely, as you remember, right? So now it's just um, people are getting used to it. It feels like COVID might be coming the new normalcy, which is um, 
it is what it is, right? It could be just like a flu, but you kind of spin out of proportion. And the next thing you know, we call that like Delta Cron. And I, I spoke with one of my board advisor earlier today. And she said, oh, there's like another one that perked up. Um, and it's like a two syllable type of words. I, I don't know what it is, like something earth or something. I don't know. It's like some other language they try to use to uh, like a Greek letter, if you may, to uh, try to stir more, you know, influence into the market. But I think collectively we are becoming wiser collectively um, and we have toughened up that, you know, we no longer are that oblivious, you know, gullible groups of individuals that just like read news based on flat face level, right? We are taking it with a huge grain of salt now more than ever that, you know, technicals and quantitative analysis is what's going to come out of the truth, right? And frankly, you know, I'm not that smart to even predict the future either, despite how nice of you guys to call me like a wizard. You know, and something that I picked up that I didn't realize is that why is today green? I'm actually wearing a green shirt. It's a green undershirt. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not something that I um, realized. Um, but I guess that's some of the signs that you guys uh, have put upon me on a, you know, obviously superstitious perspective. Right. So let's just dive right into the technicals with respect to recording time of four. 29 p.m. on the Eastern Time, Ethereum country $3,242, up about 5.2% so far. And right now we are sustaining nicely above the 3,150, right? And at the moment, right now, with the 35 out of 70, so still curving up. So we're, the rebound is happening nicely. So congrats to the ones that actually bought the dip when we were at the 2,950 or anywhere below 3,000. In respect to Bitcoin is up about 2.51%, uh, uh, you know, attempting to go back up to the 43 as the first level and then going up to the 44 as the next real consolidated level. Right now, we are curving up with the 36 out of 70. Um, and I believe that um, the bottom was there, right? We were pretty much at the 39666.16. Um, and right now, it seems like we're about to form a golden cross as well on a MACD perspective. So reversal is happening. And uh, Bitcoin is going to have some major drag effects onto the market. Uh, Dogecoin up about 6.5% uh, at the moment right now. Anywhere from the current level to the 1383 would be a good dip. Right now, 37 out of 70, so still not terrible. Cardano is up about 6% right now. Um, at the right at the current level, we're basically going back to the next comfortable level, 119, right? And as we break 119, we'll be hovering between the 134 to 119. Right, so right now it's a okay level at the 41 out of 70, so no longer as attractive as we were before when we were like going down to 110 to 107. Solana is uh, up about 5.5%. Uh, at the moment, we bounced from the 133, right, which was the bottom. And right now, we try to go back up to the 155, which is the next level with the 35, 36 out of 70, so not terrible. At the moment, we're still curving up, so Solana seems like it's heading to the 155 to the next level. XRP um, right now uh, attempting to go back up to the 79, 78, right? And as we break that above, we have to go ahead up to the 88. So we do have like about 10 cents of differentials. Uh, right now, it's not terrible with the 41 out of 70 still curving up. So reversal is coming. Polkadot is about 8.36%. At the moment right now, we are anywhere again, right? From the 23 to below. Will still be a better level right now it's okay not the best i would probably not touch this right now agra is up about 5.5 um 143 again 136 to below is still a better level for us shiba is up about five percent right now um at the moment again right we know that the the identifications of the resistance level right would be anywhere from the current level right all the way to the low 2000 to the 14,000 1400 to the 900, right? Mac tax up about 13% right now, reversing up nicely. Um, and this is because of, this is an altcoin and it's more volatile, right? And right now, uh, I really wouldn't touch it with the 52 out of 70. So it seems like we're bouncing really nicely at the 175 to 143 is still the level I'll be incurring your set. Uh, AVAX up about 6%. Um, again, we bounce from the 79 or the 80, right? But I would personally just buy at the 80 to 60 from below. Terra is um, about 7% as well. And 
right now I was still, you know, 62, 52 to 45, I was still more risk averse level based on the current setup right now. And with respect to Enron, we're up about 7% as well, so we're rebounding nicely. We are at the basically 40 out of 70, so not as attractive as compared to like when we were at like below 190, obviously. But still like a tolerable level if you want to believe in this long term, right? And with respect to price target, these are levels that I identify so far. So hopefully this is helpful and uh, hopefully you guys are um, understanding the you know, methodology that we're applying for this risk management levels, right? We still have two other ones coming up, right? So CPI report coming tomorrow and then a PPI report on Thursday, right? So mentally prepare yourself again, right? And I think um, if you are prepared, you are never afraid, right? Uh, despite how volatile it looks like, right? Because you mentally tell yourself that this is what's going to happen. And despite what the needle is doing, right? You stay within your course of nature. You stay, you still hold onto your wheel, your, you know, and you still maintain your direction and your positioning and don't get shaken up, right? So appreciate you and let me know how it goes. Take care.